In these problems, we're taking the antiderivative of exponential functions, where the base is e. Let's remember the rule. The antiderivative of e to the u, as long as it's multiplied by du, is e to the u plus c. So with that in mind, we're going to take the antiderivative of these functions. So here we need to use u substitution. We will in fact be using u substitution for almost all of these problems. So in this case, since there's only e to some exponent, we're going to let that exponent be u. The next step is to take the derivative of this u that we have picked. du over dx, the derivative of u with respect to x, is 3. So therefore, du, multiplying both sides by dx, du is 3 dx. For the remaining of these problems, every time we find du, we're going to skip the step where we first write du over dx, and we're just going to multiply the other side by dx. We're now going to rewrite our original integral in terms of u and du. So integral of e to the 3x plus 1, 3x plus 1 is u, And dx times 3 is du. Well, here we have dx. If we multiply it by 3, which I'm going to put a 3 out there, then the 3 times dx part will be du. But since we can't just go and multiply things by any number other than 1, what we're going to do to offset this multiplication by 3, we're going to multiply the outside by 1 -third. So we have that 1 -third out here. And 3 times dx, as you can see here, is equal to du. Now we can take the antiderivatives since we have 1 -third antiderivative of e to the u du. We know the antiderivative of e to the u is e e to the u times du is e to the u plus c. So here, the one-third just stays on the outside because it's just a constant being multiplied. The antiderivative of e to the u is e to the u plus c. One final step. We replace u with what initially it was equal to, and that's 3x plus 1. We should always multiply, I mean, take the derivative of our answer to make sure that it is, in fact, the original question. And the derivative of e to the u is e to the u, u prime. So this derivative, quickly, let's just do that in our head. The one-third stays on the outside. The, so it will be one-third times e to the 3x plus 1 times derivative of 3x plus 1. So let's just do that over here. Double check. Okay, so the derivative is 1 third times e to the 3x plus 1 times 3. Derivative of a constant is 0. The 3 and the 1 third cancel, and we do in fact get e to the 3x plus 1. You should be able to do this part in your head really quick. All right, let's do the next one, number 10. So we need to see what our u should be. u should be the factor whose derivative is the other factor. Notice the derivative of 1 minus e to the x. Derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of negative e to the x is negative e to the x. We can, we can change that to negative e to the x easily. So we're going to let u be 1 minus e to the x. 
some hints about what you should be generally it's the inside function involving ease it's the one where it's got more terms for example you know derivative of one is zero and so that gives us it goes from two terms to one term which is what we want but these are just hints the official way we decide what u should be is you should be the factor whose derivative is the other factor. So the next step is to find du, similar to what we did here, but I'm skipping this over dx part. I'm going to multiply it by dx at the end. Derivative of 1 is 0. The negative stays there. Derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And now, as I said, we put the dx there. We now rewrite our original question in terms of u and du. Well, let's take a look. What is du? du, according to this, the derivative of u, is negative e to the x. So, negative e to the x dx. Here is e to the x dx. So, we need a negative in front of it. To offset that negative, we need to put another negative on the outside. So, negative times negative is positive. We're now going to rewrite our original question in terms of e and in terms of u and du. So we have a negative, the antiderivative of negative e to the x times dx is right here. That is du. Let's put that over here. The radical or square root of 1 minus e to the x. Well, that's u. Now let's rewrite our question as a power. This is u to the 1 half. We can now use the power rule to take our antiderivative. So we don't need this rule. We need the rule that says the antiderivative of x to the n dx is 1 over n plus 1 x to the n plus 1 plus c. So we have to add 1 to the exponent, so it becomes 3 halves, 1 half plus 2 over 2. To divide, when you do 1 divided by a fraction, that's the same thing as multiplication by the reciprocal of that fraction. So you just do the reciprocal of 3 halves, which is 2 thirds. But remember, the negative is still there, plus c. And of course, the final step to put it back in terms of x, u is 1 minus e to the x. Okay, let's double check. constant factor you just put here. Derivative of x to the n is n times x to the n minus 1. We're using chain rule. We've got to take the derivative of the outside first. So 3 halves, 1 minus e to the x, 3 halves minus 1. 1 is 2 over 2. It's 1 over 2 times the derivative of the inside and the derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of negative e to the x is negative e to the x. These cancel. Negative times negative is positive. So we get e to the x times this. And the way the original question was written, they had it in radical form instead of power form. And there it is. This does, in fact, match what we started out with. Good job.